In this lesson, we're going to answer the question, how do I identify and name non-rectangular prisms and their nets? Let's take a look at workbook page 149. Here we have a variety of prisms. Take a look at number one. First, it's asking us to name the shape of the base. If you remember, we've talked about how a prism always has two bases, two parallel congruent faces that we call bases. So even though there are three rectangles here, this is um, actually a triangular prism because the bases are triangles. So you can see that there's one triangular base here and one in the back. So just keep in mind that there can only be two bases in a prism. So this is a triangular prism. Let's take a look at number three. Number three, let's see, it looks like we do have a bunch of rectangles. In fact, we have six rectangles going all the way around this prism. However, the shape that there's two of is two hexagons. We have a hexagon here, and we have this hexagon in the back. Sorry, that's awful tracing. So the bases are hexagons because we have two hexagonal faces that are parallel, they're never going to meet, and um, they're congruent, they're exactly the same. So that makes this a hexagonal prism. And number five, well we have several rectangles again, in fact we have four rectangles because they're going around these two squares. So our bases here are squares. And since we have square bases, we would call this a square prism. However, you may want to call it still a rectangular prism because remember, we had said that a square is just a type of rectangle because a rectangle, you know, has um, two uh, parallel uh, congruent edges or two sets of parallel congruent edges and 90 degree angles, which a square does as well. So if you look at um, number seven and eight, the first question says, what do you notice about the name of the base and the name of the prism? Well, the base has the same name as the prism. So if we had a hexagon base, we had a hexagonal prism. If we had a triangular base or a triangle base, we had a triangular prism. If we have a square base, then we have a square prism. So how is a prism named? It's named after its bases. That simple. Take a look at your takeaways. All I've done is list out um, you know, some of the different uh, prisms that you may come across. Just remember, a prism is named after the shape of its bases. So if you have square bases, it could be a square prism, which, of course, we could call it a rectangular prism still. Uh, rectangular bases would be a rectangular prism. If you have triangle bases, then you have a triangular prism. Um, pentagon bases, so if you have five sides, you have a pentagonal prism. We talked about a hexagonal prism. Heptagon. A heptagon is when you have seven sides. So if you have heptagon bases, you have a heptagonal prism. And you get the idea.